Luke Shaw has revealed he almost lost his right leg after suffering an horrific double fracture three years ago. The Manchester United defender, back in the England squad this week, was left nursing the terrible injury after being clattered by PSV Eindhoven's Hector Moreno with what Louis van Gaal, then manager at Old Trafford, described as a very bad tackle. The Mexican caught left back Shaw's standing leg during a Champions League game in September 2015. United lost the match 2-1. Now Shaw, called up by England manager Gareth Southgate this week after making a fine start to the new season with United, has spoken for the first time about how near he came to needing an amputation. I was really close to losing my leg, he said. I didn't know that until six months later when the doctor told me. The more squeamish might struggle to stomach certain elements of the story Luke Shaw told here at St. George's Park on Tuesday. But only when listening to the Manchester United fullback reveal just how close he came not just to losing his career as a professional footballer, but losing his right leg, can one fully appreciate the hurdles he has had to overcome these past three years. Shaw does not entirely blame the double fracture he suffered during a Champions League group match at PSV Eindhoven in September 2015. He was candid enough to admit that his long journey back to the United first team, and now the England squad, has also been made more difficult by his own lack of professionalism. The injury was a bad one, though. It has left him with two scars that serve as a daily reminder of the drastic action that had to be taken to avoid what could have been life-changing consequences. Shaw had never spoken publicly about this before. About the two blood clots that were removed when the surgeon cut him open. About the potential complications those blood clots would have caused had he simply flown back to Manchester with the rest of the United squad. About the fact that it was six months before the doctors even felt it appropriate to tell him just how serious a situation he was in. By his own admission it has taken Shaw a while to realize that. Club managers have publicly criticized him for certain lifestyle choices. And only last week Gareth Southgate, for all that he admires the hugely gifted 23-year-old footballer, said it had perhaps taken him longer than most to appreciate the dedication and professionalism required to make it at the very highest level. Shaw concedes that after becoming the world's most expensive teenager when he completed his transfer from Southampton to United in 2014, he got a little carried away with himself. I spoke with Gareth early on, said Shaw. In periods when everything was going really well, I may have taken my foot off the pedal and got comfortable with where I was, not carrying on to the next level. That's where I've changed from a kid to a man, I've realized that. So that's fair, you could say, Southgate's criticism. But I'm here now. I'm back in the England squad. I have to keep going and take that on board. He has employed the services of a nutritionist as well as a psychologist. The latter, he said, had been vitally important in helping him return from such a serious injury. Indeed, this weekend's Nations League match against Spain will mark three years since his last England start a European Championship qualifier against Switzerland. I feel very honoured and privileged to be selected again, he said. I feel really good, in great shape, my confidence is back. This is just the start of the season. But the stuff that's happened my injuries, not playing, all that is all in the past. Shaw nevertheless conceded that Mourinho, like Southgate, was justified in his criticism.
I think at times he got frustrated with me because he knew I could do better, he said. When I look back, at times maybe he was right. But I had a chat with the manager before the season and he said he wanted me to stay and fight for my place, and that motivated me a lot. I'm focused on improving as a player and a person. This is the start of a new me this season.